Hello again. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. Hello again, and welcome to another episode of... Get this tape out of my house. Get this tape out of our house. And what are we watching today, Jenna? Inline fun. Inline fun. What do you want to do? And now, back to our regularly scheduled program. So, I will go through the box, shall I? I'll go through the box. Oh, it looks like a doozy. Inline fun. Inline fundamentals for young and old. Easy to follow inline skating instructions for beginners. That doesn't make sense. For beginning skaters? Yeah, is that right? For beginning skaters. Shouldn't skaters it, that are just beginning. Shouldn't it be beginners? Beginner skaters? Have fun, think safety, learn to stop, learn to stride. And that's it. There's... You got the easy box. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So what's happening on the back of that Produced box? by Rollerblade Inc. So we've got a guy having fun. As you can tell by his aerial he's, shot. He's jumping. A girl, not even sure what she's doing. She's thinking that. safety. There. Oh, she's touching a helmet. And some guy's learning to stop with the brake on the back. And there's a guy learning to stride. That's gonna be quite useful because we do live in we live in northern Alberta, and uh, there's plenty of people out there skating. Is there? I see plenty of people when I come home from work. I see people skating. I saw an old man who was definitely no, in his sixties with a beard. No, you did not. Did like three days ago, skating on inline skates okay. in the road. I might add. That's just mad. So we might pick it up. So let's learn how to be safe. Stride this way. <laughs> Work on the same idea. Just wait. Stride. Ooh, be careful. Always skate within your ability to pay special attention to your surroundings. Make sure you check <laughs> the, your brake pad and wear before skating. Oh, One moment, please. Oh. We don't know why, but hundreds of kids have gathered in the park this afternoon. This is not what I was we expecting. We don't know why. What do you want to do? Let's get 10 kids do? from the neighborhood. Let's get 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 Let's our first story is about Eddie. Eddie had all but recognized the value of listening to his mom and dressing for success. Even for a stroll to the park, Eddie always wears the proper attire. Eddie is such a good kid. Oh my god! Oh my god! What's happened to Eddie? Our next story is about Melissa. Melissa, it's such a wonderful child. She's actually going to rather practice the violin. <laughs> Anything else? Elbow pads are just like knee pads, but for your elbows. They also come in strap sleeve. Wait for it. Or strap only. Oh. Oh. I bet the straps even always, get always work home, mm -hmm. Brandon. Put it on top and strap it down. Test your helmet like this. Put your hand in front of you and move it towards your face. Your hand should touch the edge of your helmet first. If you touch your nose first, your helmet is an on right and it won't protect you. The ready position is fundamental to inline skating. It's easy. Just spread your skates as wide as your shoulder, put your arms out in front, and bend to your knees. Make sure you feel stable and comfortable, because you'll use the ready position a lot. 
I don't know the way your legs bend at the ankle. Don't watch your feet because you might miss what's going on. I always thought like you shouldn't do that. But I just couldn't help. Let's not try it. Just spread your skates as wide as your shoulders, but your hands on your toes, and bend with your knees. Well, maybe. You should be bending at your knees, not the ankles. That doesn't look good at all. And I'm gonna teach you how to move now. From the ready position, let's start with the knee ball. Make a V with your feet. Now walk to get a feel for your skate. First you make a V with your feet and then you walk. The V walk teaches you how to move on your skates. That's cute when adults do it. <laughs> swoosh, 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 swoosh. Or this motion. Swoosh. Do the robot. Hello again everyone. We have just watched Inline Fun. It's pretty fun. Came out in 96, right? Oh no, it was filmed in 96, came out in 97. So the video is basically a uh, tutorial on how to skate. Instructional video. Yeah, it covers the basics like headgear and you know your PPE. And then it goes on to... What does PPE stand for before you jump ahead? personal protective equipment. There you go. And then uh, it goes on to basics like standing up and how to fall down and then uh, yeah, how to move, how to turn, how to stop, how to go down hills. Yeah. You basically just play on. It may look steep and tough, but if you apply your brake at the top, you can stay in control. Let up on the brake a little if you want more speed. So uh, yeah, it's basically it's basically an instructional uh, video on how to do some rollerblading or inline skating because Rollerblade's a brand. This is actually produced by Rollerblade, Blade Runner by Rollerblade. I'm guessing Blade Runner is a type of skate, maybe. Yeah. If you're watching the video, you would have noticed that. Oh, All really? right. Yeah. So what do you reckon, Jenna? Was it good? I enjoyed it. It was entertaining. Um, yes. It took me back to when I was a kid and doing that, and I don't think I was that... Proficient? I don't know, yeah, I guess. <clears throat> well, I you fell over a lot? Um, I just didn't have, like, all the proper equipment. I think I went out with, like, a helmet and knee pads, and maybe that was it. And then, and then I, the problem with Newfoundland is there's hills everywhere, so you could kind of do, like, one cul-de-sac or your block, and then everything else would just be up a hill or down a hill. Both ways. Mm. I thought it was okay. I don't think it's aged enough yet to be found entertaining. It still looks like this could have been shown on Discovery Kids like two weeks ago. The production quality is it's kind of cheap, but at the same time, Discovery Kids is still kind of showing this kind of quality stuff. Smiley kids, semi enthusiastic kids, one enthusiastic, some not. <laughs> um, you know, yeah, I don't think it's, I don't think it's, it's not old enough feeling for me yet. If it was like early 90s and it had lots of like pinks and greens flying around and like a Saved by the Bell intro, like that kind of stuff just everywhere, there's an inline skate in the intro. If it was like that, then I might have found it more entertaining. That. And just the nostalgia factor, I think, for me won me over. Oh. I didn't really skate as a kid. I tried skating when I was about 13, well no, maybe a bit older, about 15, when it became quite popular again in the UK. I just couldn't get the hang of it. I managed to skate into a parked car. <laughs> I didn't know how to brake. If I had this video. If you had that video, had you would have been able to brake. You know? Wait a minute. Coasting is fine, but once you get going, you gotta know how to stop. Remember, there are two kinds of brake. The standard brake, and the ABT break by rollerblade. I thought you was just meant to put your foot back, but you're not. You're meant to put your foot forward and then back. There's a slight difference, but it makes. Hence, I hit world. a parked car. Yeah, that's what. That's another way to stop. <laughs> Would you watch it again? Maybe not today. <laughs> yeah. I would maybe watch it again. I would. I would. I would. Again, it's. <sighs> It's hard because sometimes when the videos are shorter, you're just more inclined to say, yeah, I could watch it again. 
It's more so I could sit through it, I could put up with it a second yeah. time around because it's only 10 minutes or whatever. Yeah. I could watch it again too. And I think if I was learning, if I wanted to go and skate, I might reference this video. <laughs> I might. When that day comes. Yeah. Which is pretty good. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good plus for the video, isn't it? Yeah. You know, you'd still use it. I mean, skating doesn't really change that much. And the, the hints and tips or tricks or whatever you want to call them that are in it are relevant and yeah, because skating fairly easy change. to follow. So. Your shoulders and hips should follow your hands. Pretend you're a waiter with a tray in your hands. Take the tray in your hands and turn it in the direction you want to go. There hasn't been that much evolution in the skates since this video came out, I don't think. There's still four wheels in a line, <laughs> in a boot. Maybe more of the automatic braking or... Oh yeah, maybe the brakes have changed, but if anything, you'll be better off being able to brake with the old style. Yeah. You just pick up the new ones. Did it serve its purpose? I think it was... Yes, if we're saying that on the other end of this video we should know how to properly skate and do all that stuff, then yes. I mean, you know how to put on your helmet, you know, like, what way your helmet is fitting properly, you know how to put on your gloves, you know how to go down a hill. I mean, I think the thing is for beginners, so I think that's all the intro stuff that you really need to know. Yeah. I think it served this purpose as well. I think it actually teaches you quite well. Um, I think those three grown men that are in the video, they were... They seem to get it fairly quickly. If they could pick it up. <laughs> so yeah, there's lots of little kids, but little kids can skate easier maybe because they're closer to the ground. <laughs> gravity so, is just working in their face. You know, the center, center of gravity, gravity is lower. Yeah, but um, yeah, I think it's, it served its purpose. It's, like I said, I would maybe reference it if I wanted to start skating, which is never going to happen. But if I wanted to, like the old man I saw, then uh, you know, I would reference this video. So I think that served its purpose quite well. So, we're keeping this one then. Does it mean we have to keep it if it just says all the good things? Or can yes. we not just impart that onto someone else? No. Oh, it stays in the house. God. And what's good too is that my point about it not aging properly yet. Eventually, we'll have this tape and it'll age. And in 10 years time, when we find it... Because be I will have hidden it. <laughs> it will be better. So we're keeping this one, ladies and gents. Inline fun. Oh, wait. We didn't discuss the rap. There was a rap. Rewind. There was a rap by in there. Who? By Scrap, Scrap D. D. That's it. <laughs> we don't know who Scrap you, D is. You so wouldn't let me think, Google it. I don't think anyone knows who he is. Um, basically, what was the song called? Something and Slide. The Stretch. Slide and Glide or something. Stretch. Yeah, something. It's, it was, <laughs> it wasn't really very well. Um, <laughs> But yeah, there was a there was a cool rap song in there which uh, dates this video quite well, I think as well. You stride, it's how you, you stride. Stroke, hand glide, it's how you stride. Yo, I'm back in the zone. Five in feeling fun. Ground zero, destination cloud nine. See the birds pass and the cars drive by. With my shades on, gravity can't depart. As I stroke and glide, glide back and forth. Ain't no stopping headphones. Because that'll be, I mean, it's laughable now. Ten years time, I can't imagine. Can't imagine what it's gonna be like. Knowing music, in ten years time, that's like where rap will be again. Ah, that's no more like Fifty Cent or whatever. It'll be back to like back rapping to about that. skating. Back to kids. That's rapping. my prediction. Yeah. So yeah, thanks for watching that, guys. We are gonna keep inline fun. or it's wrong around. Inline fun. And uh, yeah, let's go out and do some skating. <laughs> Always fall forward onto your knees, then slide down on your pads. Don't be a hero, let the pads take the fall. Now you guys try. Now you know how to fall if you have to.